Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ghani and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my sewing and dressmaking themed gift guide for 2023. Everything I'm going to share with you is all available in my online shop and I'll put a link to the blog post that goes with this video so that'll be the easiest place to find all of these items but I've kind of grouped them together in a theme and what I've realised really is by picking out all of these different things from the shop is that really when when you sew and you dress make there is always another little exciting tool or notion or gadget that you can get to just make your hobby a little bit more fun a little bit easier so whether you are looking for inspiration to buy a gift for somebody who you know who likes sewing and dress making or you're maybe just looking for ideas that you then want to drop hints to your loved ones for then there's lots of different ideas in here that I'm going to share with you. So first of all, I wanted to show you our little range of sewing boxes that we've got this year. We've got a couple of spotty ones. We've got a yellow one and a teal coloured one. And the inside has got a little pincushion section, a little pocket to keep bits and pieces in. You've got your section at the top with different partitions just to keep yourself organized and then a bigger storage bit underneath so you get your scissors in there or rotary cuss or whatever your bigger items so nice to just keep everything organized we've also got a couple of embroidered ones as well so this one's got a little bit more of a neutral palette to it but then a beautiful colored floral embroidery on the top and then the inside bit is the same as the other ones or we've got another one where it's more sort of pinky florally theme and then we've got a cute fun one with the rainbows on it as well which is nice and colorful maybe um, a little bit more aimed at children with that one but you know it's really nice so whatever your taste is hopefully there's something in there that that looks nice so yeah they do come empty and so it might be that you've got bits and pieces already that you want to get organized or you could get the box within other bits and pieces inside as well we do also do this really handy starter kit as well which comes in a couple of color options so there's the pink one and then there's the bright turquoise one as well and it's good because it's a storage box in itself but then inside there you've got all of the essential things you need if you're starting off so you've got your scissors a magnetic pin cushion the seam gauge the chalk the the seam ripper needles the little clips all organized in this little box so it is a really handy one to get because it's just it's kind of just like everything in one item which is quite good talking about kits the other idea that is also good as a gift is any of our g and g sewing society kits as well so we do still have quite a few from our back catalog that are still available and inside there you've got everything you need to make a specific garment so they're quite good to give as a gift they come packaged in a nice box really neat and it's like a lovely little sort of thing to to open up and see all of the treats and different bits and pieces in there that you need to make a specific garment so you can check out the ones that we have got left in the sewing society section of the website now the next category i wanted to talk to you about were scissors and if you do a bit of sewing or dressmaking then you know how important it is to have a really lovely pair of sharp scissors now at home i my personal preference is i use the prim exact shears i actually use the 21 centimeter blade one but they do come in 25 centimeters as well the difference with these blades is that the, they have got micro serration on them. It's like lots of little teeth on the blade. So it's really good for cutting out slippery fabrics because it sort of grips the fabric as you're cutting it. Also good for thicker layers, denim or canvas. We're going through lots of layers of fabric because instead of as you close the scissors, the, the thick fabric sort of getting pushed out the blade, the teeth grip onto it and almost kind of pull the fabric into the blade. So it gives a really nice, satisfying, sharp cut. So yeah, the, the exact micro serration available in a couple of blade lengths, but we do also have just the regular tailor shears as well in three different lengths too. And then we've also got the pinking shears, just another more sort of specialized type of scissor which is good if you you know if you've already got a good pair of dressmaking scissors pinking shears are always handy these ones a little bit more specialized these are the applique scissors or sometimes they get called duck build scissors so they've got this sort of curved section on one side of the blade and it's good for grading seams or where you just have to cut away a bit of fabric from another bit of fabric so it keeps the other bit of fabric out the way 
that sort of shaped bit on the blade and um, so also good for applique which is why they're called applique scissors but in a more dress making sense good for grading seams and then a few options for a smaller pair of scissors it's always handy to have big and small scissors so we've got the little stork ones which are quite cute and um, shaped like a little stork bird and then these are new ones these little embroidery ones with the colorful handles and then just sort of slightly larger ones but still obviously smaller than the shears and they have got the little micro serration teeth on them as well so just handy to have a smaller pair of scissors for little cuts okay the next category is magic magnets and magnets are really useful to have when you're sewing because you've probably got pins if you're sewing and the magnets help to keep the pins under control so there's a few different options depending on your preferences my favorite is our custom made wooden ones these have been handmade especially for us here locally in birmingham by a local workshop um, Matthew who runs that one is, makes lots of things for us in the shop does lots of our fixtures and fittings he's a very talented craftsman and yeah he made these lovely pin cushions for us too so they're made from sustainable European beechwood lovely and soft they've got grooves at the side as well so you can pick it up easily and then because it's got a magnet sunk into it all of your pins stick to it so it's good if you want a more sort of natural aesthetic we have also got more colourful options, a couple of the Prim Love ones, so the spotty one with the pins and then also the Love Heart one that's got the two little sections in it if you want to keep different types of pins separate in that one. And then we have also got the snap bracelet, you might have had this when you were younger, snap it on your wrist and then you've got a magnet there which is just really handy if you want you know quick access to pins if you're maybe moving from different areas sewing areas and then finally for all you cat lovers out there this very cute little cat silhouette which has got a suction on the back sticks onto your sewing machine and it'll just hold a few pins so maybe if you're taking out pins as you're sewing you can just stick them onto there so just a little cute kind of novelty thing I love that little one and then the next category is garment personalization and if you haven't come across the Kylie and the Machine range of woven sew and labels that you can put into your projects yet then you're in for a treat because they've got so many lovely little ones loads of different sort of sayings and icons and yeah just ways to personalize your projects really this is a selection of some of the newer designs that we've got comfy colorful handmade one me made which sort of looks like a dictionary definition and then look after me look after you which is cute if you're giving it to someone else so they come in little packs you usually get eight in a pack and then we have also got the kylie and the machine countdown calendars as well so these are not specifically linked to the festive or christmas season you can use it to count down to any event that you want to there's 24 windows to open each window has two woven labels they're all different so there's 48 different um sorry 24 different designs 48 labels in total in this and yeah it's just a really lovely lovely gift to give because it looks quite nice and it's yeah lots of exciting little presents inside so i believe there is a photo that you can look at if you want to see what's inside but they're all new designs they're ones that haven't been in previously available as packs or in their previous calendar as well so a good way to add to your label collection and then this just sort of completes a nice label related gift as well are these collectors tins so again they're from the kylie and the machine range and they are just a lovely little tin that fit the packets of labels really nicely so they do work quite well as a gift because you can you know you can get a couple of different ones to put inside it so that is all of the little labels which just make nice little sort of stocking fillers as well the next category is one of my most favorite extra kind of tools or notions that i use when i'm dressmaking and that is the prim vario pliers these are compatible with loads of different types of fastenings from jeans buttons rivets eyelets anorak snaps you can use them for the little plastic fasteners which are good poppers which are good for kids clothes they do also have ones that are specific for jersey fabric as well so they're the metal ones 
you can get pearl button ones as well loads of different things so they're all compatible with all of those different things so it is a really useful tool to have you can get a storage case for it as well so this the storage case comes empty you need to get the two together but that's just a nice way to sort of keep it keep it organized and looking neat and tidy and then there are other accessories that you can get to go with it as well so different storage cases which are shaped like a flower because you get you end up with lots of little bits when you get the different fasteners so that just keeps them organized and or you can get it filled with the little plastic snaps as well so again it just it sort of makes quite a nice themed present you've got a few little bits and pieces that kind of go together to make a really nice gift there all right next up i have got some ironing and pressing related items which is very handy for dressmaking because as you'll know if you do dressmaking you spend a lot of time ironing so having things to help you with that can be really useful so i have first of all i've got the hot hammers these have been super popular and um, but we've now got the longer version as well so it's basically like a sort of kind of thick felted card that has got a grid on it so you can use it to measure things as you're pressing good for pressing back seam allowances hems you can use this one to get a nice rounded corner on it or a nice pointy corner as well They're really useful the longer one good for just larger areas so maybe if you've got a bigger hem to do you obviously don't have to move the smaller one along as much if you've got the longer thinner one and um, so both of them are really useful for pressing and ironing nice and accurately and then we have also got the tailor's ham and the sleeve roll as well and really you need to remember when you're dressmaking you're making something that's 3d so it does help if you've got aids that help you to press these creations that you're making that are 3d rather than having to try and somehow press them flat on the ironing board so the sleeve roll is good for for narrower sections like sleeves where you want to press the seam allowances open and you just need to get something in there to just sort of fill it out and give it shape and lift it up off the ironing board. The tailor's ham is good for sewing darts, for example, sewing sleeve heads, um, pre sorry, pressing darts, pressing sleeve heads, and just, just generally having to mold your garment around it if you need to press it or steam it at all really helps. And then the last one, which I absolutely love as well, is this wooden clapper. So these have also been made locally for us in the same sustainable European beech wood that the magnetic pin cushions have been made in. And these are for pressing wool fabrics or thicker, heavier fabrics, and they help you to get really lovely crisp seams. So particularly good for wool fabric, you would use it with a hot steamy iron, you'd shoot steam into the fabric, and then you literally just plonk this on top and apply pressure down through it onto your ironing board and it helps to set the fabric it makes the seam look really crisp and flat and, and it does make such a difference so if you are maybe sewing with sort of more advanced fabrics or more more advanced projects it is a really useful thing to have it does make such a difference now the last category that I've got to share with you is what I would deem are things that are for the dressmaker that has everything because there is always just another gadget or another tool that you can you can add to your toolbox. So this one quite good for organisation. It's the pattern tray spool pods. So good for keeping bobbins and the matching reel of thread together in a nice organised way. So that's handy to have you've got space for quite a few different ones there so it comes empty and then you would just fill it up with your thread and bobbins as you need to another organization related one is this pattern trace pattern envelopes here so these are really good for storing your pdf pattern printouts because obviously you don't have an envelope for them or if you just want to store your traditional paper patterns that you're finding it hard to get it back into the envelope that it came in then these are really handy to do that because they've got a gusset at the side so there's lots of room in there and it might just be a nice uniform way to sort of organize your patterns another good organizational one is this lovely needle case organizer where it's got all of these different pockets for putting the different needles in you can stick stickers on the top to customize it for what needles you've got and then these little circular um, velcro patches are good for just putting your used needles in there as well so another way to organize your items there and then the next couple that i've got 
are related to buttonhole. So we've got the buttonhole cutter, which is basically like a little chisel. Very satisfying to use. So you would use it with a self-healing mat or a little wooden block, something to protect your surface. And you just apply the pressure directly down and it cuts open your buttonholes. So nice and handy to have, no more accidentally ripping through it with a seam ripper. And then also related to buttonholes is the Simflex expanding gauge. So this is really good for just really quickly and easily marking out even spacing in your buttonholes because you can just expand it to whatever distance you need. And then instead of having to sort of measure it individually, you've just kind of automatically got that spacing out there. So you can either use every one or if it's a sort of bigger spacing out of the buttons, you could use every second one. So it's just another handy way to be marking your buttonholes quickly and accurately, getting them nice and spaced out. This next one is the needle twister. I've got one of these at home and I love it. Works basically like a lipstick. So you twist the bottom and the, it raises it up and then the needles all come sort of fanning out. So it's nice and easy to pick one up. You just twist it back down again, pop the lid on. So it just keeps them nice and neat and organized. And then I have got a couple of handy marking tools, which I find really useful. The first one's the Chaco liner, which has got refillable cartridges that you can get. And the tip of it's like a little wheel. So as the wheel turns, the chalk dispenses, leaves a really nice crisp line. So it's good for getting accurate line markings on your fabric, whether that's for stitching or for then cutting out. I find it really useful. It comes in lots of different colors as well. And then we've also got the cartridge pencil, which works just as a regular cartridge pencil, but the chalk in it is dressmaker's chalk. So it's good for just get making more accurate markings. If you've got a traditional tailor's block of chalk, it can sometimes be quite hard to be precise with your chalk markings, but something like that makes it a little bit easier. And then we've got the corner edge shaper, which again comes in a couple of different colors and just good for helping you get nice shaping and things that you're turning out the right way. So the points of a collar, for example, um, and just helping to round it out, push the seam allowance out as you're then maybe finger pressing it or pressing it with the iron. And then the next one, I've got one of these at home as well. I use it all the time. It's a seam gauge, nice and colorful. And it's good for just measuring shorter areas or marking straight lines and um, drawing straight lines. I find it really useful. So um, another just handy one to have because it's not always easy to use the, the inch tape, the measuring tape to measure certain things. Sometimes for smaller distances, it's handier just to have that more sturdy little ruler there. And then this very cute one here is the needle threader, which is like a little bird. It's very sweet. So yeah, helps you thread your needles while just being a little cute, sweet bird. So it's a nice, nice little one to have in your sewing box. And then I've got a couple of different clip options as well. These fabric clips are really good if you're sewing with thicker fabrics or lots of layers of fabric and it's maybe hard to get your pins into it, then the clips are really good for holding it together. So we, you can either get a pack of 12 just as like a separate item or we've now got these little boxes that comes, you get 40 clips in there and then it comes in a little heart shaped box which is quite cute as well and just keeps them organized so that's another another nice gifting item there so i hope you have found all of those things useful and interesting to see as i said in the beginning they're all available in my online shop and the link to that will be in the description to this video the quickest way to find the links will just be to go to the blog post that corresponds to this video because i've sort of coordinated and linked everything all together there and the kind of groups that i've talked about it as well if you've got any questions at all do just reach out you can leave a comment on this video or you can contact the shop via email or giving us a call as well the gng team and i are always more than happy to help but thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and i'll see you next time bye